How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to another review on the channel. Seeing this, we've got the full game thanks to the EA Game Changer Network. Massive thanks to them. I thought, you know what? Let's do a review. But, lads, basically, right now, you need to pack the players to review the players. And I'm going to review all sorts on this game from expensive to cheap to in between. And uh, we're going to start off with Bruno Fernandes. If you would have seen the Road of Glory yesterday, no spoilers. We packed uh, Bruno Fernandez, uh, but that's untradeable. So I thought, you know what? Let's give him a whirl, let's give him a twirl, and let's review him for you guys. So if you do enjoy, you know what to do. Uh, bring that type, smash that like, subscribe to the channel if you are brand new around here, and drop a comment in the comment section below. Who do you want reviewed? I can literally review anyone on this game right now uh, once I do pack them at this stage in the game. Anyways, unless they're on the markets uh, where I can actually purchase them. Uh, but lads, anyone that you want to review, comment section below. And if you do enjoy, a like would be very much appreciated from all you guys out there and drop a subscription to this channel and the second channel reviews rtg and stuff like that on this channel everything else over at marshall 89 game and uh, as for bruno fernandez his price is not applicable right now because lads prices on this game at this current stage is neither here nor there it doesn't really matter at this stage and with bruno fernandez he's actually extinct and his price range is not there for me to see but uh, as you can see by his stats they are absolutely incredible he's got high high work rates four star skill moves four star weak foot five foot ten and right foot primarily with stats like these boys i mean you look at this you look at the acceleration 78 sprint speed not that impressive it's 70 uh, six uh, shooting is very impressive not because of the finishing 77 uh, it's because the shot power it's 89. It's also got 89 long shots there as well. Uh, very good passing. Vision's 90. Uh, sensational short pass. Sensational long pass. And curb is on the good side too. Uh, the dribbling. He's got 79 in agility and balance. Which can be seen as... Yeah. Uh, but lads, he's not that good. Uh, he's not that good. He's not a bad at dribbling. He's not a bad at dribbling. He's close control with nuts. Uh, 88 ball control, 86 reactions, 85 dribbling, and 86 composure. In terms of stamina, it's 94. So he can run all game long. Not this game... Fitness isn't a thing, but stamina still is a thing in games. So if you've got low stamina and you start from minute 1 to 90, you might want to sub players out after a prolonged period of time. His strength is 67, his aggression is 70, and as you can see by his traits, he's got soul player, flare, and outside of foot shot. But this year, lads, what we're going to do is make the start a bit shorter, make the end a bit longer, make the gameplay longer too, so uh, you can actually see more of the review. And that's to me kind of talking through this beginning part. So this is the first review. Let me know how you do think this will fare during this year, and let me know what your thoughts on this are. Lads, let's get into some gameplay, boys. So here we go, lads, on into the gameplay. You can see we've got the things around the screen. We've got the price in the top left-hand corner, top right-hand of me, top left-hand corner of your screen. Uh, we've got the pros, we've got the cons coming up too. We've got the best and worst stats on the car and the work rates. High and medium, uh, high, high, high. Well, that's, that's just an example, high and medium. He's got high, high work rates. This allows him to move up and down the pitch. Now, gameplay so far, for me, Feels good. It feels good. It might look slow to some people, but lads, you can speed it up however you want and uh, have amazing attacks in this game. As you see, Bruno Fernandes, lovely turn there, and it's shaped over the oncoming Russian leg. I love that. Not literally rushing, just rushing in for a challenge. Uh, yeah, the, one of the main pros with uh, Bruno Fernandes that you will see during this review is his passing. His passing is nigh on perfect nearly every single time. He does get wiped out on that occasion, but honestly, lads, his passing is truly, truly phenomenal. As um, he actually does get the ball here. Bruno Fernandes, steps. His man plays in Simon, who's been very, very good. Look at this. Lads, if that had gone in, I would have hit my hat. And this is on the RTG as well. I don't even have a hat, so I don't even own one, but I would have bought one just to eat this. Um, his ball control is nuts. His ball control is there at all times, and it's prevalent at all times as well, especially with the new RB dribble, which is very, very important in this, uh, this game. It's... Uh, it's good because you do the RB dribble, it's close to his body, it's always in control. Stands up the cross there, good header, great save by the keeper. This is actually against Matt HD Gamer as well. In terms of cons then, we've got the strength and versatility. The strength is, it's not good because it's 67, 70 aggression. Now, that isn't the best in the world because on this game, strength seems to matter a little bit too uh, in certain situations. As we will get a chance here and we actually will score with Bruno Fernandes. Uh, that's how you say his name probably. I, I say Bruno Fernandes, but it's uh, literally Bruno Fernandes. Uh, his strength is um, on the downside. That was a great finish by Bruno Fernandes right there. Again, Bruno Fernandes is the right words. Bruno Fernandes is what I say. It's just, just the way it goes. Versatility. Lads, I'm using a CM right now, right? I think he's a cam. I think he's a cam. Now he is a cam. He comes out, packs as a cam. He comes out. Uh, his card is a cam on this game. But 
It's the versatility. I think he can only play Karma. CM, it's good, but while moving further forward, he has more of an impact. And this game actually moved him a striker against Matt. And uh, he did very, very well. So Cross will come in here. A lovely position. And it did that thing. You know what you get in the last man? And they normally kept running. Matt, he checked his run. He turned back. It's great for the cutbacks on this game. And he positions himself. Great for the cutback right there. And taps it into an empty net. As for the rest of his pros, he got the movement. Lads, high high work rates. He's up, he's down, he's everywhere. His movement is phenomenal with whichever position he's in. I just reckon he's really, really limited into playing Cam CM. Not so much. Uh, lovely footwork there by Moses Simon, Simon the score. But again, Bruno Fernandes uh, offered himself in that move and offered himself uh, very well in the role in general in playing uh, that kind of type of football to get into that position. Uh, shot power. It's nuts. You, you, you let us see the best of Bruno Fernandes in this game, uh, in this in this video in general. That was a brilliant through ball to Odion Agarlo, who just scored the goal and run off celebrating. Lads, his shot power is nuts. His first time shots are crazy as well, which you will see in the clip after this clip. Uh, stamina, it's 94. You can run all game long. It doesn't matter. It's very, very good. Bruno Fernandes is involved. He passes it into Agarlo. Agarlo's ball is beautiful. In a Moses Simon. I found a gem. I found a gem in Moses Simon, boys. Um, set plays, corner kicks, free kicks. His delivery is fantastic, and it is very, very good. As um, you'll see his first time shots, by the way, in this clip. I think it's this clip where he does score the absolute belter of a goal. We're gonna free kick there, and we just get going. The other pros, full start combo, and the dribble. And his dribble is absolutely phenomenal. Last, first time shot, weak foot. Wow, wow. That is an amazing finish. That is a bloody amazing finish in this new, uh, what is it, Roma FC? It's Roma FC's kit. And that is an amazing finish by Bruno Fernandes uh, right into the bottom corner. So the pass got played into him. Hit the first time. It wasn't low driven. It was just a normal shot. That is literal perfection right in the bottom corner. So he's very accurate when he's finishing despite 77 finishing. His shot power is nuts at 89. Long shot's 89. And his composure comes into play at 86 too. As another lovely piece of play by Bruno Fernandes. Plays in, I think it's Caputo on this occasion. And Caputo does put it in the back of the net. But again, more gameplay will be shown on the RTG of this team performing and whatnot. This is Bruno Fernandes. Let's get into the summary. So there we have it, lads. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, Fernandes. In English, you know me say Fernandes. But this is Bruno Fernandes. And lads, he was absolutely amazing at certain points of the stage. Now, on this game, so far anyways, uh, you can tell the difference between the bad players and the good players. Simply because the good players... They do much more. They take better touches. They uh, are more assured on the ball. They uh, position themselves well on the pitch. And uh, the close control is better than ever before. And the pace. Pace is important on this game. I played my HD Gamer when he did have Pele. Told me a new one with Pele. I think he scored four goals with Pele in general. But Bruno Fernandes was very good. Very technical player on this game. Now, in terms of price, it's any right now. Not applicable. Now, I can't really give you a price of this card as of right now because the market hasn't really opened up to the floodgates of literally everybody. So, the value for coins will literally be in non-applicable right now. So, I've left it right smack bang in the middle with 5 out of 10. Smack bang in the middle. His overall rating will get 8.8 .8 for myself, though. He's a very, very good card in this game. And I just want to keep them realistic to start. But Bruno Fernandes is playing with his rating, playing really well. And he's a level above the players which he did play with in this team, which he would have seen at the start. And I, I believe 8.8 is very well deserved. Um, he's got a lot going from this year. He's got a bit of pace, he's got a bit of shooting, he's got a bit of passing, he's got a bit of dribbling. He doesn't have the physical in terms of strength or power, but um, he does have the physical in terms of stamina. So the enjoyment rating would be an 8.9 with this card. A very enjoyable card because he plays the game well. He, 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 it's like, it's hard to explain. This game, it can be very um, good in certain aspects of the word. In terms of uh, controlling the game with certain players, dictating the tempo, being a, an orchestra, sort of, what the hell is this? An orchestra in uh, certain words. Um, uh, conduct, uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, yeah, he's, he's very, very good at doing that. He's very good at dictating the tempo, dictating the player, and his first time shots are nuts as well, which you would have seen. The other goals I did score with Bruno Fernandes was actually in squad battles, so that's why the record is 10, 6, and 6. In um, five games of rivals, which I did my placement matches, which you will see in the next RTG. Yeah, he actually scored three goals and got three assists. So he actually benefited from rivals and SPCs. He got three and three in each of the five games he did play. Yeah. Foot champs did this, he would be a starter. If you do get him in the first foot champs does come around, start this guy. Uh, he got 8.3, 7.8, and 8.8 in his first rivals matches. Um, you see over 100k, under 100k brackets. Uh, there's no players to compare him to right now in terms of that, because I haven't reviewed anyone else. Uh, over 100k would be Bruno Fernandes. Compared to 
Bruno Fernandes. Uh, and the other, uh, uh, under 100k would be the exact same. Passing, he's getting an 8. Shooting, he's getting an 8. The physical will be a 6. And the dribble will be a 7. Uh, Bruno Fernandes is the name. Manchester United is the club. Portugal is the nation. Uh, and Premier League is the league. So he's got a lot of good links there. And you can hybridise him off into like the Cristiano Ronaldo's of the worlds. And Jao Felix is etc. etc. In terms of similar players, it's one that is more expensive. But... Statistically, he's very similar to a Kevin De Bruyne. Now, Kevin De Bruyne will be more expensive because it's Kevin De Bruyne, or unless the, the, the hype around Bruno Fernandes is not. But Kevin De Bruyne is probably the similar player, very similar in certain aspects of stats. Uh, key pro will be the passing, the key con will be the power, strength, aggression, etc., etc. Best game style will be actually engine. Takes him to a 90 um, in terms of right midfielder, an 89 cam, a 90 in terms of right midfielder, left midfielder, etc., etc., an 89 CM, an 88 right wing, and an 87 center forward. Forwards, right forward and left forward. I believe it was that case, anyways. And by the way, the chem styles have changed this year. Finisher, for instance, it boosts agility and balance as well as finishing and stuff like that. So, again, actually, I don't even think it boosts finishing, I think it boosts shot power and long shots. But uh, finishing is different this year. A lot of chem styles have changed, and I I'm all for it, boys. I'm all for it. Uh, different boosts to different players on this game, but engine, I reckon, is still good for Bruno Fernandez on this game. Lads, that's where we're going to end today's review. Remember, to recap, we are doing expensive players. We're doing very cheap players, and we're doing the in-between. Today, we took advantage of packing Bruno Fernandes on um, our RTG account. So, um, yeah, we'll review them in a day. RTG will be coming up next in terms of reviews. If there's anyone that you do want to see in terms of reviews, uh, simply let me know in the comment section below, and I'll look to get doing, that, doing uh, them as soon as possible. But thank you very much for joining me today. By the way, we stream the day. Lads, the, t the tempo, the hype, the, the uh, lads, just wow. It was an amazing stream, a thousand plus views at all times. If you do want to join my streams, twitch.tv forward slash marshall89hd. Pretty much stream every single day from morning to evening, uh, well, to afternoon. So if you do want to join me, come across and see the RTG in action. But thank you very much for watching the day. Like, comment, subscribe. And as always, lads, I will catch you all next time.